We take you now to Laura Windsor with this report on what low birth weight can mean. When a baby is born, one of the first concerns is their weight. A baby with an extremely low birth weight alerts the physician to a possible problem. Dr. Antoine Solomon of Children's Hospital of Orange County discusses what extremely low birth weight can mean for the baby. Most babies that are born premature um, are of uh, a late gestation, so above 34 to about 37 weeks. And when they go to the ICU, it's usually for a week or less. The babies that we worry about the most, those are the ones born less than 32 weeks or even less than 27 weeks. Those are the ones that tend to stay longer. I'd say the average stay for a baby who is born at uh, 27 weeks is about three months. The problems that uh, premature babies face long term are really the things that we try to prevent. The smallest and sickest babies, those are the babies born, you know, one to two pounds. Uh, about 40 percent of them end up with a fairly significant disease. Those diseases are cerebral palsy or mental retardation, blindness in both eyes, hearing loss, significant chronic lung disease that requires special medications and often has frequent hospitalizations. When a woman delivers a baby prematurely, it's a very frightening experience. And of course, the first time uh, she or the father or family members walk into the intensive care unit, there are so many bells and whistles and so many things that are absolutely exhausting to them. We, uh, and we means our team, our team really engages the family because as you can imagine, these uh, parents are robbed of many of the firsts of a baby uh, that usually would happen at home. Uh, they have to celebrate the first time a baby comes off the ventilator, the first bath, the first time they get to hold the baby, the first time they get to feed the baby a bottle. All these things our staff uh, does an amazing job celebrating with them. Uh, and really the goal when the baby goes home is to have the parent well educated enough to be the caretaker of this baby who may have some problems later on. When a patient is discharged home from the hospital, one of the important aspects of their follow-up care is to have them return uh, on a uh, you know, six to one year basis uh, to evaluate their development. That happens at most of the major medical centers that care for premature babies. And that is to really put them through a battery of developmental assessments to really gauge how the uh, course in the NICU uh, has been handled and really can help the family get needed services if the patient has some delays uh, or to give them reassurance that this baby looks like they're on a good path to recovery. We asked Dr. Solomon what could be the possible reasons for an extremely low birth weight. Prevention has been a problem because there's no silver bullets. Despite uh, our best efforts uh, in medicine, we have not been able to prevent prematurity. Uh, the factors that cause babies to be born premature still haven't been clearly worked out. Uh, we know that infection plays a, a role, even stress of life plays a role, uh, poor access to care, uh, women that are uh, in, uh, in situations of lower socioeconomic uh, means, uh, they have more premature babies. Uh, and so right now, the answers to preventing prematurity are still up in the air. If you're pregnant or planning on having a baby, getting prenatal care before and during your pregnancy ensures not only your well-being, but also a healthy baby. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.